Good morning, it's Wednesday the 19th of August. On Monday, I was talking about some of the changes that have taken place in the way that we worship. There are new rules governing the different aspects of the things that we normally do when we gather in church. Included in these are ways in which we can safely share communion. Opportunities to still break bread and remember that special meal that Jesus shared with his friends around a table. Sharing in communion is significant to many people and it's been hard not to be able to gather for this important part of our worship. Initially, in our churches, we're not planning to have communion. It seemed important to get settled back into our pattern of being in church. But hopefully, before too long, we can once again make it part of our regular worship pattern. I've heard various ideas for the safe sharing of bread and wine. One of them was a light-hearted video that came from a Baptist church in Wales where the person leading worship threw bread into people's mouths from the front and then used a water pistol to give each person some communion wine. Could be a bit messy. Another is from an online company who are producing sealed packs which contain both a communion wafer and a little cup of wine that can be put out in church prior to people coming in. Not sure I like the idea of shrink-wrapped communion bit too much plastic. Then there's my favourite idea that comes from the Reverend Eileen Harrop in County Durham. She was brought up in Singapore and she's using extra long chopsticks to share the communion bread with people. She says, administering the communion in this way ensures there's no cross-contamination and my parishioners feel reassured and confident to take part. We have yet to decide how we'll share communion once it again becomes part of our worship. We'll have to think about how we ensure people's safety, but still recognise the significance of this special meal. I do value communion. I look forward to be able to share in it once again. However, I also believe that each time we eat food, each time we have a meal at our table, then Christ is with us. Sarah and I always say a prayer of thanks at our main meal each day. It's a reminder that in having food we are blessed and that we share our food in the company of God. We don't have to wait until we share bread and wine in church to have a special meal in God's presence. I'm not sure that I'll be using chopsticks to give out communion bread. Could be very chaotic. But I like another comment from the Reverend Eileen Harrop. She says, it's rather special that the long chopsticks I use are normally used for the festive occasion lo hey, meaning stir the uplifted bread of life. May the breath of life be with you today. And when you eat, may you know yourselves in the presence of our living God. Let's pray. Living God, when we eat today, may we do so in thankfulness for the food we have. May we do so in prayerfulness for those who go hungry today. And may we do so knowing your presence with us in each meal that we eat. Amen.